Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. It's good to have you. Please consider subscribing and turning on your post notification bell if you are a crafter or just enjoy crafting videos. My goal at the moment is to have 2,000 of you lovely people subscribe to my channel. So please help me to achieve my goal so I can continue to bring you more crafting videos. Today I'm going to be sewing the Pocket Power by Lynn's Handmade. This is a great scrap buster project. It has a zipper pocket and three card slots. It features this cute snap tab which I have a video for in part one. I will link it at the top. So grab your pattern and your scraps and sew along. It's a quick sew. And if you would like to see how I do this, stay tuned. <laughs> So today I'm going to be making the Pocket Pal by Lynn's Handmade. I will link the pattern in the description. This is going to be a quick project. This is quite a nice kind of stocking filler or a great uh, make to give as gifts, especially as it's almost Christmas. So you probably have seen this already. If you haven't seen it, I will link it at the top, um, just showing you how I embroidered this snap tab. It's so cute, I really love it. And I um, I digitized this on Embird, and yeah, I just thought it'd be a, a nice, instead of having an ordinary snap tab, to have something a little bit more decorative. So, for this pattern, it's not a lot of pieces okay so I have my main exterior um, which is in uh, vinyl and then I have my lining which is cotton and it's this pretty I really like this it's floral kind of print I have a size 3 zipper and for my snap I'm actually going to be using a plastic snap today and I've got a bit of Decaville there just to strengthen the, uh, the snap when I fasten it. And I'm going to be using my hand press. Oh, needs oiling, squeaky. I'm going to be using that to set my snaps. And I'm also going to be using um, some ribbon. This is, let me see. This is two and three quarter inch ribbon. And I'm going to be using this to make my card slots. I'm also going to be using some spray adhesive. So I'm going to be using this. It's photo mount, but this is the only spray adhesive I've got. And I'm actually running out, so I need to get some more in. I think that's everything. Yeah, so let us begin by quickly creating this pocket pal. Right, on the back of my uh, vinyl, I've already placed my uh, double-sided tape. And this pocket pal has three card slots. I've also made the purse pal, which I will link in the description. It's just it's kind of like a big sister to this, this one. Um, yeah, has more card slots, so I'll link that in the description. Anyway, so what I want to do now is, I'm actually going to get my ribbon and let's move everything else out of the way. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this first tape and all the measurements are in the pattern. So we're putting down the ribbon so it's going upwards. 
I'm just going to put that down. Like so. Press it in really well. And then I'm going to flip it over. I've left it on the roll because I'm just trying to save um, save my ribbon really. And when I made the purse pearl last time, I didn't have enough of the um, card slot fabric. So that was very worrying for me. So I'll just leave it on the roll. So now I'm going to top stitch. I'm not going to back stitch here. I'm going to pull my threads to the back so that you don't see a horrible, uh, horrible knot in the front. flip it over and just pull my threads to the back. And then knot it. And I do about three knots. Or I might just do four. And then I'm going to just singe my threads a little. Try not to burn my ribbon. Okay, now I'm going to pull my ribbon down and crease at the f at where I am. Um, stitched so I'm going to crease it there and then I'm going to remove this tape here if I can get the back end off there we go make sure the ribbon is straight bring it back up, crease it at this tape here, and then I'm going to remove the next tape for the card slot. straight stick it down give it a good press and then I'm going to flip it over and then top stitch again at the next card slot and then I'm going to not back stitch I'm just going to pull my threads through to the back so I can tie it off Now I'm going to add some double sided tape to my bottom fold here. So I'm just going to place some more double sided tape. 
down. And then we're doing the same thing again. We're gonna fold it back down from the last card slot. Making sure it's straight. And then pull this tape off, pull the back in. Press and then back up. Good crease, and then take this card, this uh, double sided tape off for the last card slot, and stick that down. sure it's straight. That's the important thing. You don't want a wonky card slot. Right now I'm going to flip it back over and then stitch again. Okay, we need to, even though I've stitched over that last card slot, it's not yet a pocket, so I need to crease one more time. I need to add my double sided tape. back up crease really well and then I can snip this bit now don't need all of this anymore so let me just cut enough Now I'm going to pull off this last bit of tape at the top. And just stick that down. Okay, lovely. Right, I'm just going to trim this excess off because it's not needed. Try not to cut into my vinyl. Okay, I think I could even 
trim it a bit more because I don't want it in my seam allowance so I will trim a little bit more should have used my pink and shears so it doesn't fray okay right so our card slots are done let's just check it is a usable card slot yep there's our first one working well second one working well and third one yep it's good right the next thing I want to do is I want to install my my zipper before I do that actually I'm going to put my snap in so I've already got the male uh, part of the snap on my tab already so this is the female part you can do it the other way around if you choose to so to do that I'm actually going to because this is double sided tape I'm going to attempt to just peel this back and I can always stick it back down so I'm going to put it through my Decaville and then push that flat, the flat part of the snap on that side and then this one on this side like that and then I'm going to set that in place. Just check that it's going to work. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so I can stick that back down. I think I'm going to give this a press first before I install my zipper, just so that it's got a flatter uh, profile. So, see you in a sec. So, I'm going to install my uh, zipper now. This is a size 3 zipper. So, and I've got some double sided tape at the back. This is quite a, this is a really nice project to do if you've got any scraps that aren't big enough to make. Uh, bigger projects and you can really go to town with the colour and the lining so I'm just pulling off the tape which is always difficult for me come on there we go one more Right, I've got my zipper pull uh, put in that way, so I'm just going to try and centre this. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
spray some adhesive on the back of this so I'm going to do that off camera and do that outside so I'm not breathing in fumes okay I've added my spray to the back and now I'm going to try and line this so it's even this is a tricky part because it's very sticky I need to stand for this pretty even. Let's cut these threads and I think I'm going to edge coat this because the back of this uh, vinyl is white. It has a kind of a like a cotton backing on it which is not going to look very nice on the edge so like that so I'm going to edge coat it just so it's in keeping with this one as well because I did edge coat this tab right I'm all sticky everything's sticking to my hands okay so I'm going to top stitch now so I'm going to sew a box around this zipper I mean I could have edge edge painted here as well but never mind And I'm not going to back stitch, I'm going to pull my threads to the back too. I think let's do it that way. So I've overshot my so I've overshot my my box there. So I need to go back a couple. And then I'll just continue, sew that off, and then continue, or tie that off rather. This thread is not the best. Um, it's a text, it's supposed to be a text 45, but it feels thinner than a Tex 45 because I've got other Tex 45 thread and they don't feel as thin as this. Not my favourite. Don't think I'll be using it again. Well, I might because I've got quite a big row of it. it's the biggest row I have you might be able to see it that's the top of it right there it's huge 
humongous. And I'm just having a look at the back, see if I caught my line in. I did. So I'm going to carry on from here. Okay, so that is the lining in and the zipper also in. Um, I didn't interface this lining, you don't need to, but then the downside to that is I've got all these dangly bits of thread that I have to trim off, but it's fine. Okay, so we have this. Yep, and our zip works. Right, now I need to put my. Well, finished, the project's finished. So I'm just going to snap my tab in place. And then I'm going to. Fold this over like that. Make sure it's straight. And then I'm going to clip it into place like that. Make sure it's not pulling. Or overstretched. Okay, so this is what we have. It's looking real nice. Okay, now we're just going to fold it and clip around the edges. I'm going to make sure that my top edge here is really well matched because I won't be able to trim after I've sewn it so I need to pay particular attention to this bit right and then we're going to clip clip it in place So the pattern actually calls for an eighth seam allowance, but I'm thinking I might do a quarter and trim it down. I'll see after I finish clipping it in place how I feel about that. Right, clip all these bits. I always use too many clips. <laughs> I 
Okay. So we want something like this. This is what we want. So, like I said, it calls for an eighth of an inch. But I'm thinking I might do a quarter. I think I'm just going to stick with what it says in the pattern and just do an eighth. Okay, so now I need to open the snap. Flip it up because we don't want to stitch over our tab. So I'm just going to try and clip that into place without moving it. Don't want it to move. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. So like that. So now I'm going to stitch an eighth around the edge. So I'm going to start on this side and I'm going to back stitch this time. So that is it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love this vinyl. So I can see here that my edge isn't that great. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off this side. Uh, this side's pretty good. Um, it's just here really. Here, here and here. So I'm going to trim that and I'm going to be edge coating this like I said earlier. And um, I'm not going to do that on camera. I have a video already where I show you how I edge paint and the products that I use. So I'm going to trim this off, edge paint, and then show you the final look. But that was quick, quick, very nice, very nice indeed. So here it is, here is the Pocket Pal, or sewn, and a close up view. Here we have our zipper pocket where we can put a uh, any coins or keys maybe and we have that beautiful uh, floral fabric in there I think it makes such a lovely contrast stay tuned where I also use this combination again to make a bag and I think it's gonna look beautiful and we have our lovely oh I think that is so pretty and our card slots Three of them and you could just slip that into your pocket I think this is such a lovely scrap buster uh, um, project so go grab a pattern and make one bye so if you found this video interesting or useful please like and subscribe if you haven't yet done so and turn on your post notification bell and make sure you check all so you never miss an upload from me Please feel free to interact with the comment section by leaving any comments, questions or any suggestions about any videos that I should do in the comment section below. You're also welcome to join our Facebook group, it's Craft Junkie Studio and I will leave the link in the description box below. And as always, don't have a good day, have an amazing day.